Hi, this is Herb Shapiro with the Dr. Vax channel. I apologize for a bit of noise in the background. I have some 3D printers working on completing the components I need for this video. Today, we're going to look at the impact of orientation on strength. There have been a number of very talented people on YouTube channels, Tom at Tom3D, Joel at the 3D Printing Nerd, who have looked at the strength of various 3D printed parts. I'm going to look at this not from a Pascal, micro Pascal's point of view, an engineering point of view. I'm going to look at this from a very practical point of view. You print a shelf bracket because you need one just the right length. And how much weight can it hold? So I've built a bit of a 3D print torture machine here we'll talk about. Hold on, stay around, and we will learn something together. Let's begin by setting up this experiment. By the way, this experiment, if you have any kids or grandchildren, this would make a great science fair experiment. So let's set this up. When you 3D print a part, you can print it in a number of different ways. You can lay it on the print bed this way. You could lay this part on the print bed this way. You could lay it on the print bed this way. Each orientation, will impact the geometry of the part. When you lay it on the print bed this way, the layers are going to run this way. Now, let's think about 3D printing. When you're putting down a bead of filament, in the direction of the layer, that bead is melted, and really, it's in essence, it's combined. It's a single piece of plastic. It's melted together. Um, it's, in essence, welded together. Then when you go to the next layer, you're laying a bead of plastic, one bead on top of each other. Now, the bead on the bottom is a little bit cool. The bead on the top is warmer. And yes, there is a merging action. But depending on the characteristics of the material, it's not as complete as within the bead. What that means is in the direction of the bead, you have more strength, and the weakest spot of a 3D printed product is between the layers, because the layers tend to pull apart. So when I 3D print this bracket this way, the layers are going this way. So the layers are like this. I'm putting force on the end here. I'm attempting to pull apart on the top here at least, the beads, not between the layers. That should be very strong. On the other hand, on the back here, I have the individual layer lines, and here I would be pulling apart the layers. So when I print it this way, it's just the opposite. The layers are going across here. So if the majority of the force is here, it might, it's probably here, but if the majority of the force is here, I'm attempting to pull apart these layers or pull apart these layers. So we're going to actually test that. We're also going to test it in two different materials because the ability of a material to adhere layer to layer depends on the material. So we have PLA and PETG samples that we produced here. All of the PLA samples were produced on my Ender 5. All of the PETG samples were produced on my Prusa i3 MK3. Okay, let's look at the test equipment. The test equipment is very simple. It's a box of two by fours that's clamped to a workbench. On the bottom, I have a winch. And the reason for a winch is I can take and crank this and get a very, very consistent amount of pressure. So if I pull with my hand, it's hard to do. But with a crank, I can get a very consistent amount of pressure. I have a scale on here. It has a locking feature, so it will lock at the lowest point. I have it attached to a shelf bracket that's attached to the side of this 2x4 as if it's a wall, um, in the same way you would attach it to a wall. And so we're going to put downward pressure on the end of this shelf bracket. Now, in a practical sense, the weight would be distributed across this whole surface. So we're testing a worst 
case scenario. Okay, let's set up for a test using PLA printed on the Ender 5. So, and this was printed laying flat on the print bed. We're going to turn on our tester. We're going to attempt to put it into lock mode. Lock mode off, lock mode on. The lock mode doesn't seem to work well in this environment, uh, but we'll try it anyways. Safety glasses on. And let's see how much pressure we can, how much weight we can put on here. So we're at eight pounds, nine pounds, 14 pounds, 20 pounds, 21, 25, 27, 30, 32, we're now stabilized at 28, 36, stabilized at about 31, I let it up a little bit, 40, 40, and right about 41 pounds. And let's see where this broke. And it broke on the bottom so in that case, it actually, so let's think about this. The layers are this way, this way. So it did break across the layers there. Um, but I probably broke first at the top, which was at the layers. Okay, let's set up for our next test. This test is of a PLA bracket. It was shelf bracket. It was printed vertically instead of horizontally. And so the layers go across everywhere. So I would expect that somewhere along these layers, this will break potentially at this endpoint here. Okay, let's turn on our scale and begin to add weight to it. 11 pounds, 20 pounds, and it broke right around 20 pounds and then broke again. It broke at 20 pounds and at the layer lines in both locations. This sample is PETG and it was printed laying flat on the print bed. Okay, goggles on and let's get started. So I moved a little faster there. We're at 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Definitely the layers are holding on the back better. 27, 28, 30, 31, 32, 33. And interestingly enough, it's bending at this point, but not breaking. It's at 38, 40, 42, 43, 47, 49, 50. It's really not usable any longer. Let's see if we can actually cause it to break. We're now at 60. We're now at 70. Or, and we're now at almost 90. So I probably could get this to break, but clearly PETG overall is a stronger material when this is printed laying flat on the print bed. Um, I'm not sure our books would be standing straight any longer, uh, but uh, this did not break. This sample is PETG printed on the Prusa i3 MK3 standing up. So the layer lines go this way. They go across it. So you would think that both of these would be the weak spots on this particular print, depending on layer adhesion. Okay, let's get started. Wow. That broke almost immediately at about 10 pounds. 
and it broke spectacularly across the top. So we can see here it's separated right on the layer lines going across the top. So that made an enormous difference. Enormous difference. Okay, let's uh, summarize what we learned. So the first sample we printed was PLA. It was printed in this orientation. The layer lines were this way. And this PLA started to pull away at about 25 pounds, but didn't break until it reached 40 pounds of weight, uh, at which point it uh, broke in both right across the layer lines here. Uh, but on the bottom, it did break across the actual bead. This next model was PLA. And in this model, it was printed in this orientation. And because it was printed in that orientation, the layer lines uh, went across and it broke at only 20 pounds of pressure. And it snapped right off at 20 pounds of pressure. The third model was PETG. And it ends up, this is quite a bit more flexible. Um, and clearly this held together better because I was not able to break this. I went up to over 70 pounds. It deformed completely, um, but at 40 pounds where the other one had broken, or 20 pounds when the layer lines were the other direction, um, it was still in very, very good shape. So at least for this shelf bracket, printed in this orientation, layer lines running in this direction, um, this was the strongest sample we had and would easily appear to hold 40 pounds of books. There are two of them. The weight would be more evenly distributed. I think it would go quite a bit more. So this is a very useful print that we could use for our shelving. And in this case, this is PETG. Uh, this broke rather dramatically. Uh, it broke both on the front and on the back and only 10 to 15 pounds of weight. So I hope this was helpful to you. It clearly demonstrated in both PLA and PETG, that layer direction matters. If you get it right, your product will be, your print will be dramatically stronger. I hope this was helpful to you, that you learned something today. If you did, please give me a like, a thumbs up, uh, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Thanks so much, and let's continue to learn things together. <laughs>